Let's get right to Jermont Terry tonight, live in South Suburban Ulsa, with a story you'll only see on two. And Jermont, a woman says she was just visiting a friend's grave when she became the victim of a racist rant. That's right, Erica and Brad. That woman filed a report with Alsa police after what she calls a terrifying visit to a cemetery. The question looming tonight, was this prompted by rage or race? When most people come to a cemetery, it's a solemn visit. But when Camille finally got the courage to visit her former boyfriend's gravesite at Restville Cemetery, she says anything but solace took place. She just started yelling at me like very loudly and very demanding and just calling me slander names. Those racist slurs and derogative words coming from a stranger. Grainy surveillance video shows an SUV blocking her vehicle. Watch as a man jumps out. You see him pointing and walking her way. He just kept coming close to me and I just was trying to get back in my car and he would not let me get in my car. He told me I have to stay where I'm at and I can't get in my car until he said I can leave. The video shows the man following her throughout the desolate cemetery grounds of 115th and Laramie. He's an older gentleman, or I think this is a hate crime, and he was just very racist. Alsa police calling it battery because the man is accused of spitting in her face and kicking her car, all because of an apparent road rage incident. Camille accidentally cut the man off in traffic. That man then followed her two blocks into the cemetery to express his frustration. As soon as I turned around, I seen him rushing in here and getting out of his car and rushing to me. Camille was not hurt, but she tells me she feared for her life. Alsa police are reviewing the grainy video after she filed a report, but the man's not in custody. As police look into the racist road rage cemetery rant, Camille hopes he's arrested soon and everyone can learn to relax on the road. It just could have been avoided. It's 2021. It's, everybody should be getting along. Now, Camille was able to snap a picture of the of the man's Nissan Pathfinder with her cell phone. Police were able to trace that license plate to an address in Michigan. But as of tonight, they have not found the man that was driving that SUV. Reporting live at Alsa Police tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News. Jermont, thank you.